have a mesh of celebrities all in one place. So uh, we're going to start with an opening prayer, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and I will start to talk about the celebrities we have in the building. So, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done at us. Of God. Of God. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that is the uh, chief executive of um, Hatlink Group. Um, Kevin, come and show your face. Uh, the natural blonde lady. Very, very sexy. Yeah. Okay, she's uh, she's our hostess. This evening, she's the brain behind um, awarding and recognizing Nigerians in the UK. Um, normally, when I'm going back to Nigeria, I used to say I'm going back home, but. Since my son corrected me that, that our Sunday school teacher said when we die, we'll go back to heaven, which is home. And uh, each time we finish church, we go home. And then you are going to Nigeria, you are saying you are going home. Where is home? Really, really, where is home? Nigerians have been recognized the world over as a people who have distinguished themselves in various fields of endeavor within and beyond the shores of Nigeria. The recognition accorded Nigerians flying at high mast, the nation's flag in various fields, has come by no other means but sheer diligence, professionalism, flamboyant lifestyle, and immense contribution to world affairs. That is why honor, as they say, deserves to be given to whom it is due. In this regard, Hotlink, an event management company owned and run by a Nigerian, Kemi Otegbade, has been in the vanguard of honoring Nigerians who have carved a niche for themselves in their various careers. For over 10 years now, Hotlink has never rested on its oars on honoring Nigerians. From entertainment, corporate governance, administration to industries and the likes, the searchlight of Heartlink set on those whose silent but impactful works have made Nigeria great as a nation. To kick off the award event which took place at the Festac restaurant in North London, UK, was a brief prayer before the welcome address was delivered by Kemi Otegbade, member of the Institute of Directors and CEO of Heartlink. In her remarks, she explored the high-ranking ideals of Heartlink, which has been their guide all this while. She bore it clear that those enlisted for the awards were those who have really done well and can indeed serve as inspiration for others who could be called upon for honors in subsequent award ceremony to be held anywhere around the world. Uh, it has been confirmed over the years that Nigeria as a country and her citizens all over the world cannot be ignored, especially for uh, professionalism and maybe flamboyant lifestyle. But no one can take it from us. We are outstanding in various fields, despite our economic woes. UK is the settlement of Nigerians with the highest density of our citizens. It is therefore a great way to rebrand Nigeria by having events like this and celebrating outstanding Nigerians towards a positive revolution and image by recognizing some of our outstanding citizens across the globe. The first award will be to Honorable Abiola Owaje. 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 Our next recipient is Chief Bimbo Roberts for Lion who is the chairman of the Central Association of Nigerians in the United Kingdom, Kanuk. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Adewale Abu, popularly known as DJ Jimmy Dad. <laughs> Honorable Yakubo Abiol Abiodun Akoni Balogun. The recipient of the Nigerian Global Achievers Award in Entrepreneurship and Style category is Fulakemi Adetono. Please help me show us some love again. Please, please, please help me give a big, big round of applause for Fred Amato. Ah, what can one say about Fred? Fred is 
He's an enigma. He's an icon. He is a, a living legend. Raise the roof for the king of talk shows, a journalist extraordinary, a prince, a Debussy, or Latino. Prince B.C. Olatilo is a recipient of the Nigerian Global Achievers Award as a world-class evergreen veteran. I don't think anybody will forget that. Prince, Prince. It is my pleasure on behalf of uh, my, uh, myself, the High Commissioner and uh, Dr. Uche Guan, and uh, on behalf of this, the sponsor of this location, what Atlink Group? Atlink Group. Yes, the Global Achievers Award. Evergreen Veteran Award. It is um, well deserved by this mission. A lot of us look forward to Sunday. Every Sunday here in UK to know what is happening in the social circuit in Nigeria. Thanks to Prince Bishop Latino, it is my honor and privilege to present this award to Prince Latino. A round of applause, please. Thank you, Mom. But I'd like to thank you very much for having made me what I am today, but I can never, ever forget Nigeria. Nigeria is such a big country and let's try and get that indomitable habit and spirit, the can-do spirit. Let's not join the Western media to bring us down. Ooh. We should always preach Nigeria.